Hi, this is Jimmy Brown from Guitar World, and today I'm going to teach you how to play open chords cleanly. When you're first starting out learning open chords, you learn like C, G, right, D, A minor, or A major, E, E minor. The most important thing is proper finger placement. You don't want to put your finger on top of the fret. Say if I'm playing a G chord. The fingers are right behind the fret in that box there. It's the third fret and the second fret on the A string. The open D, open G, open B, and then the pinkies on the high E string there at the third fret. So you don't want them back too far this way. It's not going to be clean. It's basically a good principle of fretting any note. You want to put it right behind the fret, right there, not on top of it, because then you get the next note above it, not too, too far back. So do that, and for a C chord, again. Now I'm at the third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string with my middle finger, the open G, and the first fret with my index finger on the B string. Right behind the fret. Next thing is you want to allow, make sure that the strings that are supposed to be open strings ring out and aren't accidentally muted by your finger like touching them. For example, in the C chord, I have the fretted notes, these two, and then this one is open, so I can't lazily, you know, like I'm sitting with the guitar on my lap and just letting that finger, muting it. The same thing, I got the C and then the high, the open high E. It's supposed to be open, not fretted because this finger is accidentally muting it. So a good way to do that, to check that, is whenever you make any open chord, pick the notes individually, one at a time. Clear, clear, clear. Clear, clear, and then strum. Same thing, say an E chord. Okay, make sure I'm fretting everything. If you just strum them all at once, it's easy to overlook if one note is not, you're not pressing down hard enough, say, on this, this note. See if I'm going. You think, oh, what's wrong with that? Well, pick them one at a time. Oh, yeah, I'm obviously not doing something. I'm not pressing down like I should be. D chord, again, just behind the fret, in the box, not back there. It sounds like crap, you know, and then here you start to go above it. A minor. On this G chord, make sure, if you're playing it like this, third fret and second fret, middle finger, make sure that does not accidentally touch the string. It's going to mute it out. You want to hear this. So you want your fingers to, uh, what I call, standing, you want them to have them standing tall. So they're not accidentally impeding other, other strings that they're not supposed to be. Unless you want them to. Sometimes you're playing a chord like this. This is G5. Now you don't want the, you're not fingering this note because you don't want that in there. It's too congested sounding, too thick. Sometimes you want more of a rock sound. Uh, AC, DC, you should be on that long, right? So what you do is you're intentionally taking the underbelly of this middle finger, the fleshy paw, I call it, and you're allowing it to touch the A string. So when you strum across it, you're just getting note and then nothing, and then note, 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 note. You're getting all the notes you want, the G5. Finally, when you're playing a chord such as a C, where you do not want the bottom low E string to ring, you'll see this in chord frames, chord boxes. You know the little vertical diagrams? It'll show a black circle here, a black circle here, an open circle above the G string because it's open, black circle here for that, and an open circle above the high E. Those are the strings you're supposed to be playing on. And you'll see an X above the low E string. That means do not pick it because it will, that note is not part of the chord, not meant to be a chord. That's a big pitfall a lot of beginners make. I've had students do that. Same thing if you're playing a D chord, it's supposed to be the top four strings only. You can get away with including the A string on the D, because that's actually a chord tone of D. D, F sharp, A, that's a D chord. But whatever you do, do not hit the low E string with the D chord. That, it makes it sound like mud, right? Different chord, that's like an E suspended 11 chord or something. So uh, same thing with uh, D minor. Just strum the top four strings. Same thing with the A minor, you just want the top five. 
if you hit the low A, it's not the end of the world with that chord. It's gonna sound very muddy and kind of congested, but keep in mind that you don't want that. Sometimes it's good to just let your thumb touch the string, so in the event that you accidentally hit it, it's just gonna die out quickly. 